Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to your channel, click the subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to your channel, you know what I'm saying? Click the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Sub up to the fam. Today's video, we are here with Gunner Bittersweet official video. I have not heard this song. has been out for almost two weeks-ish. 11 days the video has been out, but I feel like the song been out a little longer. I'm really excited to get into this video since I am starting to become a Gunna fan. Like, I can say, after a gift and a curse, Gunna really made me like him. Because I feel like the, when the what position he was in, not a lot of rappers could, like, come back from that. Or not a lot of rappers could deal with that type of publicity and that type of controversy while trying to drop a dope rap album. You know what I'm saying? A dope rap album in the middle of that. So, it's kind of like, especially when you're... you're being accused of doing something, you know, wrong to another big rap artist such as Young Thug, like the whole situation and them calling him a rat. I feel like he has so much to prove. He has so much to prove coming back. And A Gift and a Curse was just a beautiful album. I think it was 1010s. I thought the album was 1010s. So I'm really excited to hear more music from Gunna. Hopefully he has another project on the way, but here this song is called Bittersweet, and we're here with an official video. We're going to hop right into it. I want everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right. I'm working fine. Gonna stay with drip. She been broke, but I ain't too tough to say I love and I miss you. You my dog who kill we fall out, nigga. I never get this. For the chains and the fame, only we seen the vision. Write my name, let it bang, going out with my pistol. Got me a taste of this fame, it was sweet, now it's bitter. Baby came with pillars, I can't talk in no pillars. Mm. Only dangerous, but that don't make me no killer. Yeah. Heard you caught a hit, but that don't make you no killer. Mm. Rich and I feel fit, look like I play for the stills. Things say when I rap, they hear the pain in my rhythm. And that's why I feel like, and that's why Gunna, Gunna's respectable because even though people are still trying to come for him and call him a rat and, you know, say all these things about him, he still to this day have not dissed nothing about Young Thug, never said anything bad about Thug. And I feel like because he actually messed with Thug, like Thug is his brother. And just the fact that he has to go through everybody trying to pin them against each other or basically trying to make a narrative of something that nobody really knows is 100% true or not. It's just kind of like, dang, like this fame was sweet and it turned bitter real quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I, I feel him. I feel for him. Keeping them far back until I know they are jumping. All these niggas capping like the man in the morning. They gon' make you wanna cause the views will be big. Yeah. Ain't nobody explain the way you're using these skills. If I knew the road, I would've rolled the wrist to roll in the dice. It's insane inside my brain, I'm spending this pain on the mic. Yeah. Got a ball like I'm with Chamberlain, a hell of a price. Mm. Love when I'm on drugs, but they just ain't very bright. My choice up for a dub, I keep these bitches on ice. Bittersweet has like a slow... Uh, deep vibe to it. You can tell Bittersweet is more of a serious, um, more um, emotional, vulnerable type I'm coming on this beat to speak my truth. Like, and I feel like that's what Gunna been doing. You know what I'm saying? Gunna been doing it, but he's just, he's so, um, the way he raps and the way he sounds, I really like how he sounds on a track, especially when he is talking about something important, like his, like the fame and brotherhood with the slum and, you know, all that stuff. I feel like all that plays a part for real. Careful with your choice because you can't make it trust. Make it trust. Money no up home so much that we take a five. What the fuck is that? Did y'all see that? That was a big monster. Ain't nobody stopping when you cop it, you cop it. Hoping that I flop, but I sold cabins and cabins. Mm. Just ain't in my boxes, giving range in my options. No, you ain't an op, I still proceeding with caution. Mm. Geeking on them shoes, I'm saying my words like I'm writing. Mm. Cause every single move I do, so he can go by. Mm. My friends coming through for me, you think they ain't tight. Mm. Thinking about the crew again, can't be reunited. 
she done been slow motion, but the piece that he claimed. Yeah. Can't feel too much over in this motion of the positive. Care too much to show it, you just know that I got it. Niggas show they hate before they do something positive. Yes, they will hate before they show something positive. And that's what the problem is with the media. I feel like the media is so caught up in comparing everybody to everybody. And it's just like everybody's comparing themselves at this point. Like everybody's trying to compare. And it's like, you know, like what are you trying to compare yourself for? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's kind of like everybody, you know, wants to look like that person that just you know got it you know what i'm saying they always gotta show it so i don't gotta show you everything that i got just know i got it you know what i'm saying and that's just what it is Y'all, I'm so sorry. My camera um cut off during the middle of the video, but we were close to the end of the song. I really like Bittersweet. I think Bittersweet was a calm, real chill vibe. I don't think he was going for nothing crazy. I feel like it kind of gave off um bread and butter. It kind of gave me a bread and butter vibe without the like that that bass thumping like that. It was kind of like mellowed out, chill, like mono mono track type track. But it was cool. It was chill. Like, I, I messed with it. Um, I like the bars. I think Gunna is just a very talented individual. Like, I just don't see Gunna falling off. And I feel like people really tried to make that happen with um, all the controversy that goes around him and um, the whole Rico. So, shout out to Gunna. I feel like no artist could just do that. Like, no artist could just come back from those type of accusations, especially as a black male artist. Like, no man could come back, no black man could come back from those type of accusations into the rap game and still be relevant and still be called one of the best. You know what I'm saying? And Gunna definitely proved people wrong. He did what you say you, he couldn't do. Now, what, what's next? What you gonna say he can't do it again? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure he could do it again. Gunna's very talented and I really liked um, A Gift and a Curse and I really like Gunna's music now. Um, that whole that whole album changed my perspective on him. So shout out to Gunna. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I want everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with a video. Grr Bow! Look.